if you're spending a lot of time or sentences on, it doesn't work for me, you're constantly shifting into realities where it doesn't work for you, where it doesn't come easy for you, or you're going to have evidence of this ridiculous and silly notion that anybody could want to stop you from what's yours. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to the Roxy Talks Manifestation Podcast, your raw, unfiltered, and unapologetic source for all things manifestation related. I'm Roxy Lee, and for the last decade, I have been researching and developing my signature 360 method, which combines behavioral science, quantum physics, and the law of attraction to help you manifest a life beyond your wildest dreams. Visit RoxyTalks.com for more info. Now, let's get into it. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting beliefs so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. Now, today's topic is another one that comes straight from Mindset Monday. If you don't know, Mindset Monday is our weekly live stream chat that we do on YouTube and in my Facebook group, Black Moon Society, where we get together as a community and I answer your manifestation questions and help you along the journey of your law of attraction or law of assumption or manifestational or interaction with the universe journey. And... We just work on becoming better and better manifestors every day and every week. So join us on Mindset Monday. It happens every Monday afternoon PST on YouTube and in my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. And this question came up in the chat and it was requested that we make an episode about this. So that's what we're talking about. And it's what I like to call a manifestation privilege. And before we get into it, I just want to preface this by saying that I am in no way trying to take away from or diminish anyone's experiences or circumstances in their body, their life, their health, their mind, their history, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, we do understand that all life is a manifestation. Everything is a manifestation. Earth is constant manifestation perpetuated. I'm talking about the basic human ability to select your next reality based on the way you perceive the reality that you are just experiencing. And this is like millisecond to millisecond. And if you want to look further into this idea of how many times we're passing through realities by the millisecond, I defer to Bashar. He is a speaker with a lot of knowledge in this area. And I suggest you check him out. B-A-S-H-A-R is how you Google him. And he will help explain the amount of realities that you're moving towards and through by the millisecond, which he says is billions per millisecond. I don't know that, but that's what he says. So we'll listen to him. He's kind of like an Abraham entity that is offering channeled information from the collective. Any hoodles, life is manifestation. There's nothing you can do about it. We're all manifesting. And that's my point here. So when I use the word privilege, I don't mean to be flippant about what's going on in the world or to take away again from anything anyone's going through. But just to say that at the end of the day, no matter what is going on in the world and no matter what you are going through, everything in life is a manifestation. Every moment is a manifestation. And that's why I sit here and talk about this shit is because we all need to be operating with the awareness every day all day long as we interact with others and interact with our lives that whatever we're doing is creating the next instance of our lives. So that's exactly what we're talking about. Manifestation privilege. What do I mean by that? I love my dear community members so much, but I talk to a lot of you and I know that there are some of you out there (laughs) or how about there used to be some of you out there, not anymore, of course, because we're all growing and, and becoming such great conscious manifestors. But I have heard tell, I have heard tale tell, I have heard tale told of manifestors 
who think that it doesn't work for them, who think that it works for everybody else but them, who thinks they're the only ones who manifestation doesn't happen for, or that they're bad at it, or that they're not good at it, or that the universe hates them, or that they're set up to fail, all these things, right? That's not true. And the real important thing to take away from this is that if you're leaning on the excuse that manifestation doesn't work for you or the universe hates you or it works for everybody but you or yada, yada, yads, the question then is begged, what are you bypassing or avoiding by masking a limiting belief, fear, worry, doubt, insecurity, whatever, as inability to manifest. Meaning, if you are just calling your mistakes or missteps or things taking a long time or it not manifesting, if you're blaming on that on the fact that the universe hates you or you're not good at manifesting or it doesn't work for you, what you're doing is actually ignoring the real reason why you're not manifesting, which definitely has something to do with your language, your expectations, your worries, your doubts, your fears, your insecurities, your reactions all of that stuff, your assumptions, of course, all of that is contributing to why manifestation looks easy for some and doesn't for others. Because I'll tell you right now, you're special, but you're not that special, right? You're special enough in that you are able to create your future and mold where you go in life based on how you think and feel about where you've been that's really fucking incredible, but you're not so special that you're outside of that or that you're exempt from that because that is a hard and steadfast rule of earth, just like gravity is. So if you're exempt from manifesting, then you'd be exempt from gravity. And I doubt that you are. (laughs) I just saw Harry Potter's aunt floating away in my head, you know? So unless you're doing that, then, then I'd have, I have no sympathy. No, okay. That's not true. I do have sympathy for you, but we're not going to, I'm not going to have this kind of sympathy that says, oh, I'm so sorry that manifesting doesn't work for you. I'm so sorry that you're right. The universe hates you. God, the universe hates you. That sucks, man. It must suck to just be hated and not have any option of doing anything different or getting out of that. That's really terrible for you. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, I don't have hundreds of hours worth of content on the internet that could possibly help change your mind and shift you out of that energy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to do that because that's not the reality. The reality is you can fucking do this. And I've been talking about it for so long. I've said it in so many ways that there are so many different avenues for you to consume this knowledge and really understand it for yourself. But the point is, if you're not manifesting, if it's hard, if it feels like the odds are stacked against you, it's because you're entertaining that notion more then you are allowing yourself to trust and believe in the ability for yourself to manifest or for the universe to bring you what it is that you want. So my advice then is to, obviously, like usual, awareness and discipline, cornerstones on my 360 method that is coming out super soon, actually May 11th. And we're kicking it off with a free limiting beliefs masterclass that you can sign up for at roxytalks.com. There's actually going to be a link in the description below as well. But I'll tell you what, limiting beliefs are exactly what keep you from manifesting, right? Because the belief that you can't manifest The belief that it's hard for you, the belief that it's easier for others than it is for you, the belief that the universe is working against you, the belief that the world wants to see you fail in some way, anything like this. If you're walking around with that sort of assumption, that is a belief and boy, is it a limiting one. (laughs) That's the very definition of a limiting belief. This doesn't work for me. This is really hard. It's so easy for other people, but it never works for me. Those are some limiting beliefs that are going to block you from progressing on every level of your life. Because these aren't just individualized limiting beliefs like, oh, I never can find the right person or all the good people are taken or I don't do good on job interviews. Those are localized limiting beliefs that are going to stunt you in one area. But globalized limiting beliefs like it doesn't work for me, it's hard, I can't do this. No one has my back. It'll never work. Those fuck you up 
on every avenue because those can be fit into love, career, self-esteem, health, success, everything, friendship, whatever it is that you want, everything that you value in life. Well, I'm sorry. The universe hates you. So go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. This isn't easy for you. It's easy for other people, but not for you. So again, sorry. Don't go searching up Roxy Talks content on the internet because you're not going to find hundreds and hundreds of hours of content that will help you out of this mentality. But you know what I'm saying, right? You get it. You're not not able to do it. It's not hard just for you. It's that thought alone that makes it hard. It's the thought that says this is hard that creates a future where manifesting is hard. Like if we talk about what Bashar said, if you're shifting realities billions by the millisecond and most of the time you're thinking about how hard it is to manifest or how it doesn't work for you, maybe you try a little bit, but then you don't let yourself go very far before you're back to the, see, it doesn't work. If you're spending a lot of time or sentences on, it doesn't work for me. You're constantly shifting into realities where it doesn't work for you, where it doesn't come easy for you, or where you're going to have evidence of this ridiculous and silly notion that anybody could want to stop you from what's yours. The universe wants you to succeed. The universe has your back. The world is set up for you to get exactly what it is that you want if you can keep your mind on what you want and the appreciation of it and not keep your mind on the absence of it and the wishing for it to be a part of your life. When you acknowledge that it's not there, you've created a future moment to experience it not being there. And if when you get to that future moment, you experience it not being there and you agree Huh. Shit's not here. <laughs> no, I wish it, I thought it was going to be here. It's not here. It's not here. It doesn't work for me. Whatever it is, however you affirm that it's not there, then you make it so that you've created another instance in your future where in your 3D it will not be there. And essentially, I just see like a hopscotch. I just see someone hopping from reality to reality to reality to reality where it's not there because they're focused too much on what's not working what hasn't manifested and they're not allowing themselves to look towards what they already have and what has manifested and feel appreciation for it in their body long enough to get the fucking thing they actually want. It boggles my mind if you can't tell sometimes. I'm just like, yeah. I love you so much and I just want you to get it and I just don't understand why we would rather be in pain. I get that it's easy I get we have patterns because I have them too. I'm a human being too. I have my own doubts, worries, insecurities, fears, patterns, all of it. And I'm working every single day to make sure that I don't let them take over who I think I am and where I think life is taking me. So if you are ready to get these ridiculous ass limiting beliefs out of the way so that you can manifest what you want, stop living this bullshit life with your doubts ruling and your fear taking over. Sign up for our free Limiting Beliefs Masterclass happening May 11th, 4 p.m. PST. It is going to be live. It's my first live event in almost a year. So I'm really excited to see you on the live masterclass and help you get to the bottom of some of these ridiculous. They're like, I see it like glue in like the layers of who you are. It's like this mucky glue that like keeps things stuck together and prevents you from moving forward. So let's break this glue down. Let's get rid of these limiting beliefs. Let's work through them so that you can manifest on autopilot the life that you want to live. So May 11th, 4 p.m. PST, sign up at the link in the description or roxytalks.com. You're going to want to be there live. There's going to be special perks for those who are there live, but there will be a replay in case you can't make it. And of course, I'm still here for one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to talk to me personally about your specific situation, or I've got other great courses and workshops at roxytalks.com that you can get started on right away if you're ready to change what's going on in your life. If you're looking for affirmations, meditations, positive music, 
or downloadable content that will help you keep your vibration in the right place, roxytalks.com is where it's at. You can also join our forum and Facebook group, Black Moon Society, to meet other manifestors and connect with people doing the work that you are doing right now. I appreciate you so much. Give yourself a pat on the back for being here right now. You're taking care of yourself. You're putting yourself first, and that is what is required to be the best version of yourself possible. That version of you loves the shit out of you, and they celebrate themselves every single day. So try something today that makes you feel good. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you next week. Be good to yourselves. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.